hi there guys and welcome to this vlog thank you very much for watching so right now i want to take you guys with me to a turkish shop i am going to buy meat and some vegetables and coriander at a turkish shop i always do that okay here in the netherlands we have variety of supermarkets yes dutch supermarkets but we also have like african and also turkish and around where i live they don't have very uh big african supermarkets so whatever they have is frozen and no that's not what i want i want to go and buy fresh meat i want to buy uh goat meat I want to see if I can get goat meat and uh, I know for sure they have uh, lamb so I want to buy lamb also and I also want to buy beef now you can buy this um, now you can buy beef at a normal Dutch supermarket but it's not very for me the taste is just no it's not something that I like so that's why I prefer when I'm going to buy meat Either I'm going direct to a Dutch butcher or now specifically to a Turkish butcher. Now, a Turkish supermarket, they sell not only beef, they also sell vegetables. And I find that they have variety, a huge variety of vegetables and fruits, you know. And they have lots and lots of coriander. I love coriander. When you go to the supermarket here in the Netherlands, the corianders are packed in small packages or maybe you need to buy the ones that are uh you know the plants the coriander plant that are growing so that you can you can plant it yourself i mean you can maintain it yourself i'm not really good at plants so that's why i prefer to go buy things like coriander at the turkish and like i say they have really really good quality fresh meats fresh vegetables and the prices are also good and um also there is um diana telman your uh, subscriber of mine you asked me to make a video uh, of um as in showing you where you as a kenyan or you as an african can buy like products and foods that you actually relate to and let me just tell you turkish supermarkets if you go to a turkish supermarket you will find products that you relate to as an african as a kenyan so yeah let's go the sun is up so according to navigation i will be there at 1411 that is 211 so yeah Let's go! Yeah. Look here, they have Kenyan spinach, really fresh. This is Skuma Wiki. Skuma Wiki is here. Kill. Oh my god. So they have bags of lentils. Yes, they have. And chapati. And then pan. They have yellow pan, but I think white, white is finished. This is what you can use, like the white pan. You can use it for ugali. And uh, they all really maize. They only have yellow. White is finished. But here you can buy white for ugali. Some people also like yellow ugali. I don't know. Yeah, but here you can buy also this. Pochapati, mandazi. Have 
So there was no parking space close to the uh, supermarket, and now, <laughs> like, I bought lots and lots of spinach. So now I have to walk all the way to my car. My car is over there. Wait. Over there. That purple board, that purple thing over there. Mm -hmm. So I need to walk really slowly. Yeah. Oh, the struggles. The struggles, the struggles. But this is normal life struggles. So really, you know, I don't like going to the city and packing my car in the city. First of all, because it's always very busy. And you can imagine if I came here at after four o'clock, if I went to the market after four o'clock, then I don't think I would have even found a parking space. But now, you see there are parking spaces here because the houses have left. But when I came here, it was all full, annoying. But yes, I'm walking just slowly. <laughs> so, I am back home guys. Now, I have bought the following. Kale, skuma wiki. Honestly, here in the Netherlands, this is the first time that I bought kale from the supermarket, from the Turkish supermarket. Normally, I wait until the summer and then some Kenyans, like uh, my friend Mary, she plants them in her own garden and then she sells them or she gives them away. So I always wait for in the summer to get kale, but I'm so, so happy that I found them that i found them today in the turkish supermarket so that means i will be going there really much much more often now so i have kale skuma wiki that light over there is really irritating that's why i want to stand here i have also plantains i bought plantains also but these ones they are still green so i'm gonna keep them and wait until they get ripe because plantain tastes really much better for me plantain tastes really much better when it's ripe so this one also from the turkish supermarket and something that i bought also lots lots i bought a lot of spinach i don't know how they call this but in kenya we here i think it has another name it's almost like pak soy but it's not really pak soy uh, but in kenya this is our spinach so i was really really happy to find this that i bought really lots of it here is another bunch here is another two bunches so i am going what i'm going to do is i'm going to put them in the fridge because i want them to stay fresh and then tomorrow Either today after dinner or tomorrow during the day, I will wash them really good and then I will cut them into pieces and then put them in uh, the zakis. In um, what is zakis? I will put them in the small plastic bags for in the freezer. Some of it I will put in the freezer because, yes, I want it to stay fresh and um, some of it i will cook tomorrow so tomorrow it's all kenyan ugali um goat meat no i wasn't able i didn't find goat meat so tomorrow dinner is ugali the spinach mixed with the kale so spinach mixed with skuma wiki and uh, mutton so i cannot wait i can't make it today because today i already have dinner plans so i have to wait until tomorrow 
And also I bought coriander. I bought lots of it and I'm going to show you how I'm going to put them in the fridge, how I'm going to store them in the fridge so that they remain fresh. I saw this on YouTube. If you want your coriander or your petersalie and that sort of things to stay fresh in the fridge for a longer time, you need to cover them, you need to wrap them with a serviette, cook and roll. So that's what I'm doing. There is my coriander. This is how I'm going to store them in the fridge. I also bought some tomatoes. I love tomato in my food. I love lots of tomatoes. And yeah, this is now meat. I bought... Uh, baby? What is lamb's got a letter in it and gold? <laughs> yeah, so I bought lamb cotelettes. I don't know what you, how you say that in English, but this one's from lamb. I really don't know what that word is. I need to look at it. I'm asking my husband and he's saying lamb cotelettes. <laughs> it's still the same thing. So this one's I'm going to prepare also tomorrow as a starter maybe, or maybe, yeah, this is what I'm going to prepare tomorrow actually. Hey, morgen gaan we lamb's cotelette eten. Ben je niet blij? Hmm. I also bought beef and uh, I'm, this beef you can use also to make soups and all that. So this is really good. I'm going to put this one. This one I'm going to put in the freezer because I'm not going to use it tomorrow, today or tomorrow. Maybe next week. I think Sunday when my friends come to visit. And I also bought um, lamb's powder. So lamb shoulder. So this is like um, lamb shoulder. <sighs> so actually that's all I bought, guys. So the point is... So that's it for this video guys and uh, I hope that I was clear enough and also that I've given you guys some idea of uh, especially if you're just especially if you just moved to the Netherlands and you're wondering where can I buy like not really like the Dutch supermarkets but a different supermarket that I can go to like uh, the good thing about the Turkish supermarket is that they have like really fresh uh, vegetables and variety of really fresh vegetables and they also have a variety of different types of meat pork not because the meat also there is halal in turkish supermarkets the meat is halal so also islams go to buy meat there and um also, the prices are okay. They are not exaggerated for so much variety. You would think that the prices are very high, but they are not. They are okay prices. I do know that uh, there are also markets in big cities like Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Den Haag. That is the, the Hague. Um, um, which other one? Utrecht. I don't know if I say that. I know that in these big cities they have like really big international markets for everybody international. So yeah, if you're living close to there, maybe you want to check out on the internet when is the market day and uh, if it's close to you or not. I mean, you can just check out and see if you want to go yourself. But yes, every city, 
every town has a Turkish supermarket. So just check on the internet again. The good thing about the Netherlands is that all the information is on the internet. So you just check on the internet and see which one you, you which one is more accessible for you, which one you're okay with. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with what I've got. The fact that I got kale and tomorrow is going to be really, tomorrow's dinner is going to be really, I cannot wait, I cannot wait. Okay guys, I hope this video was a little bit helpful for you and I hope, um, and if you have any question, please go ahead and ask me in the comment section below. I will try to answer you as soon as possible. And uh, if you have any suggestions or if you have any tips that you want to share with um, my subscribers, go ahead and also comment that because you never know. You could be helping somebody out there with just that information that you have. And uh, if you have an idea of maybe something else that you would like to see, and Diana Tellman, I hope this video was a little bit helpful uh, in terms of places where you can buy like our Kenyan food stuff, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. And uh, again, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you very much for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, uh, please go ahead and do so really I will really appreciate your support and those that have already subscribed you guys are toppers you guys are really amazing thank you very much and I will see you guys in the next video bye bye peace out Mwah. bye